Hey Harmonizers, in this video we're going to do something pretty fun and exciting. We are going to do the saddle for the very first time on Tom's Treasure. So Tom's Treasure is the coming four-year-old Mustang from Antelope Valley, Nevada that I'm getting started under saddle. So the last couple sessions she's done long lining, which helps prepare her for the steering. It also means she's been wearing a sur single and having something on her back. She also wears a blanket out in the field, which helps with uh, having things on her back. But this is going to be the first time with the saddle. The actual saddle goes on really easily, doing up the girth. No big deal because she's used to having things on her back and used to having the girth done up from doing the long lining. The only thing that's a little bit different is she has a back cinch on with the Western saddle, so she hasn't felt that before. Uh, the back cinch is not done up super tight, it's just done up so it's fairly snug on the body, but she finds that a little bit overwhelming, and so she has a little bit of a panic attack, thinking that that's very uncomfortable, she doesn't know how to get rid of it, so I'm just holding the rope for her, and we don't really want them to have moments like this where they get overwhelmed. So when she kind of does that, I just give her a second to just breathe and settle. And then we're going to just ask her to politely walk forward and ask her to move out of that. And after she had that one moment of a bit of a panic of feeling that back cinch, she actually didn't have any more moments like that, which is perfect because we really don't want them to get in a situation where they're um, learning to buck with the saddle or doing a lot of bucking we want them to realize that everything is okay and that it's no big deal so she had that little moment there and when she um did that the back cinch kind of slid back a little bit but it's not in the bucking area so she should be okay and so i'm just walking her around and then we're going to start getting her to cross her legs get into some sideways and some moving of the hips to just help her really soften and really uh, relax into that saddle. So I want her to know that the saddle's no big deal. And again, she's had lots of things on her back. She long lines with the sur single with the, she's had a bareback pad on, she's had stuffed toys on her, she's had lots of things on her. So really it's just a matter of her getting comfortable with that back cinch because she's used to the front girth because we've already, or the front cinch because she's already done work with that with the sur single for the long lining and wearing the bareback pad and things like that. It was just the back cinch that she needs to get comfortable there. So we're doing sideways and moving her hips and things like that. Uh, I don't want to go straight to the lunging because I want her to move her legs and think about where she's going and I don't want her to get overwhelmed again. I want her to just move her body, realize that it's okay in the saddle and the back cinch, just move with her. So this is just speeding up a little bit of that footage I didn't want to cut anything out in this part because I just wanted to show you guys that she really didn't have any more uh, panic attacks like that. It was just kind of the initial, oh my goodness, what's this back cinch? And then she was totally okay after we do the little bit of moving around, ask her to get into the trotting and start to move a little bit faster. And you can see she's got her ears very aware. They're very much thinking about what is that saddle doing. Uh, but then she starts to soften. Her expression really starts to soften pretty quickly. And it's no big, no big deal. Uh, after a little bit of moving around, she's like, oh, okay. And she's moving totally relaxed. And her ears start to um, go into more of a neutral expression. Her body's moving really nice and relaxed there. She's not really stiff and choppy or anything like that. She's moving her normal kind of self. So, of course, cookies. <laughs> she's focusing on a few other things. There's some gravel getting moved around into the fields in the background. So she's a little bit thinking about other things right now. So just getting her kind of uh, paying attention to me as we go around the other way, asking her to go out at the little bit of the trot there. And you can see she's not having any more of those panic moments. She's like, oh, okay, the back cinch is totally fine. No big deal. She's doing really well with that. Asking for a little bit of canner here. So the canner, we're starting to get those few little strides. We're going to give her a little cookie. And I always introduce the canner on the line pretty slowly because I don't want the horse thinking that I'm going to start to chase them around the pen. So I just do a few little strides, give them that cookie. Here's a little look uh, going the other way over a little jump that I set up. The Pivo had a hard time tracking the horse coming towards the camera for whatever reason. So that's why I didn't show you a canner on the left lead. Send her out again. 
for the most part, the Pivo's been filming pretty well, but sometimes when they get going fast and like here coming towards the camera, it just lets the horse go out of camera shot there and um, can sometimes lose it. Then I come around again, get another little, you can see we got the canner there a few strides and she's going to come in and get a cookie there. The Pivo I find too works better it when it's not quite so cold. And even though it's not super cold here now, we've had... Um, We've had some colder days. We've been getting down to minus 10, I think, at night sometimes, but not for the most part. For the most part, we've been a little closer to the freezing point. So winter is definitely kind of here. We've got snow on some days. Right now, when I look out, there's just a little bit of frost on the ground, but snow is definitely creeping in there, and the Pivo definitely has a harder time as it starts to get colder. So here's just a little look at uh, hooking up the long line. So we did a little bit of that lunging stuff. The camera kind of lost us when we were going a little faster there. And then here, hooking up the long line, then she's standing really nicely as I hook all this stuff up. And she gets to work on her patience and she gets to see the lines move around and these little ropes dragging around on the ground. So all this stuff is really good for her training. And just learning to be patient like that is so key. A big part of what I do with the horses, if we're going to go into the extreme cowboy or if she's going to be in any movies or anything like that, she's going to have to be patient. Uh, so that's really good for her to wait while I fiddle with little things. And then here as we go to long line, you can see how much she's progressed in just the week of training. She's doing a lot better with her steering, not pulling so much. Like before she used to do a lot of those little head noddies whenever we would go to turn. She kind of be pulling back on the reins. Now she's starting to get a lot softer. She just starts to follow that feel of those ropes. And we're not doing really long sessions. Most of the time when I take her out, I have maybe half an hour to work with her, like actually work with her. And then I spend half an hour of like catching, like going for the walk out in the field. She's easy to catch, but going to get her from the field and brushing her and taking off her blankets or putting her blankets back on and taking her back out. So we really just have about half an hour to work with each other. So it's not that I'm drilling her on all of these tasks and making her do tons and tons of repetitions. It's just we go out, we do a few things, she gets some cookies, I get them better than what they were, and then we just move on to the next thing. So here's trotting with the long lines and the saddle all at the same time. And she's doing really, really well. This is fantastic because this is all kind of showing me you know, what might she be like to ride under saddle? And I'm learning different things about her personality. So for example, Treasure kind of seems to be the type where she'll kind of sometimes panic a little bit and have a little bit of explosion when something's new. And then when she realizes it's okay, she's totally fine. So for example, when I first hooked up the long lines, she had that little bit of a panic and she had those few rears and moments where she got overwhelmed. And then she was fine when she realized it's no big deal. Same thing with the back scent. She was like, oh my goodness, what is this? Had that little um, bucky kind of bronchy moment at the beginning that you guys saw. And then now she's totally fine, really relaxed. And she's actually had a second session since then and didn't do anything with the saddle. She saddled up and totally fine with it. Didn't have any problems whatsoever. So it makes me think when I go to ride her for the first time, her first reaction might be to go, oh my goodness, you know, Lindsay's on my back. So I'm going to have to take that very slow, very careful, and probably have Natalie leading me for the a fair bit for the first while because I want to make sure she realizes no big deal whatsoever. Here the Pivo lost me because I got really far away. But the Pivo was pretty smart because it just zoomed out and then it will catch me again as I come around the side. And the um, the Pivo is meant to only go within 50 feet. So really doing a good job considering my whole arena is uh, the whole building's 250 feet long, but the actual ring part is probably about 170 feet or 180 feet. So it's got a long distance there. I wouldn't expect it to be able to follow me all the way around all that distance there. So she did amazing with all that long lining. I just wanted to kind of check in with her, see how she would do with the saddle part. So now the long lines are through the stirrups instead of uh, rings. And this is just steering her all from the ground. Really, really awesome job that she's doing. I'm really, really proud of her. You can see how much smoother everything's gotten. Uh, 
after the little bit of long line. So here I wanted to do the pedestal again. So you guys saw the clip of her doing it for the first time. It took her a few tries to get it. And then here, this is our second session asking her to long line up onto the pedestal. And this time we didn't need to circle or anything like that. She just goes up with her front feet and then I very slowly ask her to think about adding her back feet. I'm going to ask her to be patient there and she figures, she figures it out. She has a little stumble there but gets it. I'm going to spit out that yes word, give her some cookies, make sure she knows she's a total superstar. Pose for a little video capture picture, give her some more cookies. She feels like she's a million dollars up there. So she's going to really like pedestals because she always tends to get a cookie up there when she gets the four feet on. And that's the idea is you want them liking some of these tasks and thinking that they're pretty good ideas of uh, what to do. So she's done a lot in this little session. She's worn a saddle for the first time, did some lunging with that, did some long lining. Here I'm putting her back on the regular rope. And I still had a little bit of time left, so I thought, you know what? Let's start the mounting block work to get her to start to see me from up above on the mounting block. So I got to toss that aside there. But she's been so good that I'm actually out of cookies. So I got to go get another handful of cookies. So I just let her stand there while I go and get those. And then here's a little look at her mounting block work, leaning over her, giving her a cookie on the opposite side there, practicing putting a little bit of my weight on. And I wasn't sure how she would do for this, how far along we would get. So I didn't put a helmet on because I didn't know how far I would get, but I'm always keeping myself in a position where I could push, like if she were to get overwhelmed, I could just push myself off easily. I'm not really at risk for uh, falling per se. I'm holding onto the handle there of the horn, the handle of the horn, I'm holding onto the horn to like push myself off. So I just had a moment where I lifted my feet up off the mounting block just to let her feel my weight and she was really good with that offering those cookies I'm gonna move her around again and I did mounting work from uh, both sides so here you're gonna see me reposition her come around uh, sometimes people say like oh you have to get off the horse and line them up to the block but I hate doing that I much prefer to teach the horse that I get on the block and then you bring your body into position and so then that's why I reach over top of the horse and I give the cookie from the opposite side. But you can see Tom's treasure was already like, okay, where's my cookie? And what that does is when you give the cookie from the opposite side like that, it helps push it, the horses back into the mounting block more. Whereas if you give the cookie, if I were to give it from the left side, like the side closest to the block, then she could just turn her bum and pivot and she would end up facing the block. So I'm just uh, giving her cookies. I'm standing on the block. I'm just showing her my leg on the opposite side. So I'm still in a position that I could get off of her really quickly. I wouldn't be taken for a ride, so to speak. Even there, I actually have my weight on my left leg that's standing on the mounting block. I didn't want to actually sit on her without having my helmet. I wanted to be, you know, testing everything out. She's being so good. She's being really, really good. That I'm going to do a very quick over and off like more of kind of like almost jumping across her to land on the other side to just kind of do that first having her see me out of both eyes so here i very quickly you can see my butt doesn't even land in the saddle i more kind of use the horn to just pick myself up across the other side she's like oh, okay you're on the other side and totally good with that which is awesome because some of the horses um, get a little bit startled when you do that the first time they're like oh you were up there and now you're down here and she was totally awesome and completely okay with that. So I am over the moon excited with how she's doing. She seems to be really, really smart and uh, is picking up things really fast. So I'm pretty excited to see how her training progresses the next little bit. And uh, she's definitely ready now for me to go for my first pony ride. So I think that will be our next session, which is super exciting.